One guy, one day for a makeover like no other. This is Restyled. Hello, hi, how are you? I'm Robin, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. This little world right here is a very festive Covent Garden, but it's also a man from self. Now, if you like videos like this very one, then hit subscribe, thumb it up, comment down below. Now, this is a brand new series that I'm so excited to take to you. Restyled sees one guy going through a full transformation in fragrance, skincare, hair, and style. Up first, it's Johnny. So I had 56 guys apply to be restyled, which really blew my mind. Honestly, I was so thrilled. So I'm hoping that our first guy, hello Johnny, hello partner Natalie, will pave the way for many more restyled episodes to come. Now you might be looking thinking, Robin, seriously, what? This guy looks great. But I should say, Johnny has got a real story and I really think he deserves this experience. He's a guy that looks like he's got it all. You know, he's in fantastic shape, but truth be told, he is on a transformative road after the darkest times of his life. Johnny, nice to meet you. Thank you for having me. Welcome to Restyled. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, you're the first guy. Which I I'm, know. Which I'm super excited about. No pressure on you then. <laughs> no, no pressure on me. Yeah, absolutely. Today, I'm gonna get you in for a cut. Yep. You're gonna be with Ben, who is my barber. Yep. We're then gonna do a skincare consultation. Now, Lab Series have provided all the skincare products. We're gonna do a deep dive on those products to find something that really does work for you. And for the guys watching at home, or the women, hello, you're most welcome. There's also 20% off site-wide. There's gonna be a code, we'll pop it on screen, and you can check it out. Then, we're gonna do some fragrance. Perfect. But fragrance with a twist. Okay. You okay. don't know about that. Okay and then some styling. Brilliant. Let's like fast forward to the end mm. of this. How do you hope you're gonna feel? Um, for me, I want to feel good. Mm -hmm. So I think that's important of feeling comfortable as well as looking the part. So by the end of it, especially with my kind of most recent events over the last few years, it, it's all about feeling good. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're looking good, you're gonna feel good. And that today. is the whole part of this mm. you know we've all seen some sort of makeover show where they just chuck someone into mm. something and you think well actually how do you feel with that yeah and i think actually having a skincare routine and having some fragrance yeah. and having a cut that suits you yeah, can yeah, just yeah. do so much yeah. for you and you know there'll be people watching this maybe at the end and think oh i actually didn't like that outfit i thought you looked better before mm -hmm. it doesn't matter mm -hmm. you know as long as you're yeah. feeling good you mentioned there about having maybe a, a tough couple of years mm. um, and for people watching this I mean you're stacked <laughs> you're toned you look good but it's not always been like this no, has it it's not I mean 2019 an event in 2019 changed my life um, when I look back on it now I would say since maybe 2013 for, turn of 2014 I was just unhappy mm. genuinely unhappy and I was making bad life choices I was Hurt and I was I'd, I'd hit the self-destruct button and without knowing it at the time and with that became you know I, just so unhappy really mm. falling into a hole of depression but without knowing what it actually was made really bad life choices started self-medicating um, turning to to illegal substances as a crutch on a daily basis um, and losing a relationship with my kids as well who were you know very young at that stage and, and now rebuilding that now but I didn't realize that I was ill mm. I thought that I was a bad person and the more bad decisions I made and the more people that got hurt the worse I felt so it was like a vicious circle and the worse I felt then the more unhappy I, I got um, and it all came to a head in, in 2019 and um, um, where I, I took an overdose mm -hmm. and took my then partner's um, prescription painkillers very strong and it, there was that few minutes where I actually thought I'm going to take the rest of these mm -hmm. and I don't really care, I'm done. I ended up in a coma, um, my family and, and loved ones were told that I wasn't going to make it. Um, and that, uh, yeah, be prepared for the worst, he's not gonna pull through. However, 
someone or for some reason it wasn't my time mm. and thank goodness for that and when I woke up in the hospital and saw my loved ones and my family mm. around me that's when it hit me that was like what have you done um, and I think seeing the look on their faces and I knew I was in a bad way but I felt more for them and I made a, a decision on that day that I woke up that do you know what no matter what happens mm -hmm. I'm never going to put anyone through this again and I'm going to get better but it's not like flicking a switch mm -hmm. with mental health it's always there it's always there but it's how you re address it how you mm -hmm. recognize mm -hmm. it and how you accept it I think is a big thing this happened to me two years ago this month this mm -hmm. is why this is really special for me today because you know, it's even more of a new beginning but two years ago this month is when that happened. I, I was so heavy, I was so fat, I was so disgusted with myself. Um, and at the turn of this year, um, then it was all right, okay, when you, I need to start feeling even better. You know, I still have massive anxiety. Mm -hmm. I still don't like the way I look. I still have, you know, I really, I want, I'm always, I, I've recognized I'm always kind of searching for more all the time and I, and I shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. Those are probably things that you will always yeah, have always, with you. Always. But the fact that you can recognize those That's the and thing. you also know those trigger points mm -hmm. and you know what makes you feel good, yeah. you know you're in a new relationship, yeah, yeah, yeah. you are very open about yeah. how you're feeling. Yeah. It's kind of like that communication. And, Huge. And I think, you know, as men, we don't often discuss no, things like don't. this. And again, you know, someone walk past you on the street and think, oh, that guy's got it all, oh, you know, he looks great. He's, you just don't know what's going on. No. And we all have those sort of demons and the stuff that's sort of in our head and I'm not good enough and I need to be like this and she won't like me if this and this and this. Yeah. But again, yeah, just getting to know yourself. That's it. Is important. And stuff like this, yes, it's very aesthetic and it's very mm -hmm. much like, okay, you know, skincare is not going to change your life. Mm -hmm. But these little things are just going to give you those little boosts just to make you feel good. Correct. And it's about a ritual of having that moment in the morning or in the evening and just time to yourself just to decompress yeah. and see kind of what makes you feel good. Yeah. And the first step in creating a new confidence boosting routine for Johnny is a fresh cut and a beard shape up. Now I've taken him to Murdoch Barbers in Covent Garden to meet with head barber Ben Vowles. So this haircut is not about a total change, but it is about just making everything that little bit sharper. Squaring off the overall shape of the cut will help to define Johnny's very chiseled features and really make more of that hair on top. Now Johnny is keen to grow his hair out at the moment, so the length has been kept, but the back and sides have been taken considerably shorter to really create that illusion of length on top. And for styling, it's all about the volume, using Murdoch's own sea salt foam. Then with a nozzle on the hairdryer, Ben points in an upward direction to really add some height to the hair. And when it comes to the beard, this is all about trimming and fading. Hard lines in beards can look styled, but a more natural fade and finish is a more contemporary and fashion forward look. Now a top tip, if you're unsure about where to stop on your neck, place a finger above your Adam's apple and start there. Bang on a zero and work up to a longer length. Ben adds a little bit of beard balm to condition the skin and hair and obviously to keep that style neat. Now Johnny's hair was previously styled with a slightly shiny product. Sure, that can look good, but it's not the best option for guys who are conscious of thinning or any sort of recession points. But using a matte finished product like this texture paste not only makes the hair look thicker, but it also gives it a more refined and smooth finish. Oh, Johnny, what a vibe. Really is amazing the power of a haircut. Just a little tweak to really refine that look. Now, let's get you sorted with a skincare routine. Okay, new hair, new beard, mm. Mm. feeling good? Feeling good, feeling good. So now I want to get you onto some skincare. Okay. What sort of steps do you currently have? Um, apart from in the shower, mm -hmm. straight out, a little bit of moisturizer out yeah. the door. Okay. That's the steps. Okay. So. And that's great. I, I think, you know, <laughs> having any sort of routine I think is really good. Yeah. A face wash and a moisturizer. Yeah. Great. That's it. I think we can definitely add a few new products in there. Okay. Okay. And in front of you, mm -hmm. we have the full lab series. 
range. Yeah. Um, Lab Series are a brand that have been around for 30 years. Yeah. So they've got all the technology behind it. Yeah. They've actually just had a rebrand. So okay. they've basically made this all a lot simpler for guys like us to mm -hmm. know what these products do. And I've got some key products here that I think are really going to get you uh, where you want to be with your skincare. Yeah. So I want to start you with a cleanser. Mm -hmm. So in any sort of routine for skincare, you want to basically just ensure you've got like a clean canvas. Yeah. So at night and in the morning. Yeah. The main difference I would say for the morning is because you've got this beard, I would get a little bit of exfoliation in just mm -hmm. to really clean into that beard to soften the skin underneath it mm -hmm. and just ensure that you've kind of got a, a good sort of um, base. Do you ever get a sort of itchy beard? Yeah. Yeah. So that tends to be dry skin. Mm -hmm. So with an exfoliator, you're going to be able to get that up slightly. So okay. I've got this one here. Mm -hmm. This is the Olin one. And um, as you say, for the guys watching at home, hello, or also maybe the women, I have 20% off. MFH20 is going to get 20% off the full lab series range. And the link to use is down below. Okay, Johnny, warm water. Yeah. We're going to splash it onto the face. And what to do first of all is just work it into your hands and then you're really going to focus on that beard area so yeah. just round and circular motions yeah you don't have to be heavy handed with it yeah think of your skin as a lovely cashmere scarf mm -hmm. nice and soft so this is going to help to sort of smooth the skin with exfoliating mm. it's going to help to purify it so just really get it clean so we can now get that off i would say a face cloth is your friend with stuff like this okay cool lovely how is that feeling yeah good fresh Fresh, fresh, yeah. fresh. Okay. As I said, you know, the most simple of any routine would be a cleanser and a moisturizer, but we're going to do a little bit more for you. So have you ever used a toner? No. No. So a toner really is onto clean skin. Yeah. It's going to help to sort of balance out the pH of the skin. Sometimes you're using a cleanser, it might strip it, but it's also kind of, again, going to set that sort of canvas okay. for the skin. So we have a toner here, water lotion. Okay. Um, this is an anti-age range. It's not a diss, honestly, <laughs> but it's just a great range that's going to look after slightly more I mature believe. skin. You just want to have a little splash on the old hands and give that little sniff. How does that smell? Ooh, that's lovely. Citrusy. Yeah, Fresh. that's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Little splash into the skin, okay. round the eyes, the delicate eye area, up onto there. Smells lovely. So with a toner, I would say you want to leave it on for about five minutes before okay. you put on another sort of thing. Otherwise, if you're putting products over each other, you can start to cancel them out. Yeah. So okay. it's at this point, I'd be like, go and get a coffee, cool. read the news, check your emails, do whatever. Yeah. It's after using a toner that you use a serum. Mm -hmm. Serums are like little shots of things for your skin. This is okay. when you can tend to um, start to tweak little things that you need. This one's going to help to brighten. Okay. You only need about one pump of that onto the hands and then just work in. Okay. Think of it as like a little massage of the face. Okay. Yeah, being careful around those eye areas. You don't want to stretch nice and soft and then up on the neck. And again, sort of help to minimize the look of lines and wrinkles. You're not wrinkly, you're not liney, mm. but prevention is always better than cure, yeah. okay? Oh. Now, you wanted an eye cream, didn't you? Yes. Okay, so there's a couple here. There is there's a caffeine and ginseng here. And then there's another one which is more targeted for the lines and wrinkles, mm. which is what I'd be on. See these crow's yeah. feet? Yeah, I've got We a can few get of those. something just to try and help to sort of plump that. Okay. So we have one here. Yeah. A top tip from me and people who have watched this channel before. I keep an eye cream in the fridge because I like that morning hit. Nice and cool. So, just one pump of that. If you pop it onto your ring finger, okay. because that is the lightest pressure, and then just tap, 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 nice and gently. Yeah. You can do a few dots around the eyes, the whole orbital area, and then just start to blend it in and being really careful, like a little angel's touch around those gorgeous little peepers. That's it. And then finally, after an eye cream, I would then get the moisturizer in. Okay. With a moisturizer, there's loads of different options here. We could go something with a BB, which is a blemish balm. So it's got an SPF 35. That is moving into the sort of more aesthetics and in terms of the makeup. I'll show you how it looks. It's got mm. a little bit of coloring in it. Mm. So it could take away any sort of redness in the skin. Okay. Great for a night out. Mm -hmm. There's also one here that I love. This It's a mattifying fixing. So mm -hmm. basically it tends to kind of blur the look of pores. Yeah. It's almost like a, an Instagram filter okay. in a bottle. 
And then there's a third one, which is part of the anti-aging again, which is a really great yeah. at firming and lifting moisturizers. And it's a really light lotion. So it's not gonna leave any sort of heavy white cast on the skin. It's not gonna feel oily or greasy. Okay. It's gonna really sort of hydrate. We yeah. good? Feels good. Feeling Feels good? Feels really good, yeah, yeah. You're looking fresh, mm. you're looking hydrated. Mm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send you away with all of this. Brilliant. Make some time to have a play. Yeah. There's also a clay mask in here. There's another toner. There's another sort of face wash. Play with it, see how you get on. Mm. If something doesn't feel right, there's no right or wrong answer. Mm -hmm. Just see how you feel. Also, if sometimes your skin feels slightly different, there might be a difference of a product. Yeah, yeah. But I would, I would stick with the anti-age. I think mm -hmm. they're really good, especially for the brightening and the lifting. Mm -hmm. Now with this skincare routine created and some homework for Johnny, I wanted to delve into the world of fragrance, but ensure that Johnny was really picking based on what he likes rather than being seduced by the brands and the labels. Right, fragrance. I know you've been excited about this bit. Yeah, that is the one thing if I am gonna treat myself, which is very rare, that I would I would go to straight yeah. away, uh, even over clothes or anything else, that would be that one. Well, I'm gonna do this slightly differently. Um, I've told you not to turn around. Yeah. That's because I've decided that I want to do a bit of a blind testing. Okay. Um, you probably knew this was coming, maybe. No. No? No. Okay, so with fragrance, I think a lot of what we think we like is yeah. to do with the marketing. Um, with how the bottle looks or what mm -hmm. the name is, we have these preconceptions about, well, I like a Tom Ford, I like a Parfums de Marley, I like this, I like this, because we think we mm -hmm. know what they are. Mm -hmm. So, I have got five fragrances okay. that I think you might like. Mm -hmm. um, I know from kind of what you were saying about maybe some of those sort of leathery tones, mm. uh, the tobacco vanille you mentioned is a beautiful fragrance, but I think there are fragrances that are maybe just as good or better. So, are you set? <laughs> yeah. So with a fragrance initially, you are gonna smell those sort of top notes. So something might smell either a little bit more abrasive, it might smell zesty. Mm. Take that. Mm -hmm. And with this, you're just going to hold it, give it a little tap, smell it under the nose, don't put it against the skin. I like that. Okay, this is a good start. <laughs> He's not been paid to say this. <laughs> what are you getting? And again, I'm just, getting... just say anything that's in your head. Leather. Leather, okay. Mm. But soft. Soft, warm. Yeah, very warm. Yeah. There's, in this, there's pine. Note. Oh, okay. There's pine, so it's got a sort of a sappy freshness. Mm, mm. There's also patchouli. There is a suede note in there. Yes, that's what I can smell. Now you so said the soft, that. The that's the softness, and yeah. And then there's a few, like, red berries, so that, it's got yeah. a, it's a sweetness. Yeah. Yeah, I can yeah. get the, the, the berries and the suede. I think this one, too, is really seasonal. I, it feels like I would say it's very autumn, autumnal, winter. Yeah. winter. That's kind of it as That's it goes. That's really nice, I this, like that. This has been sat for maybe about an hour and a half now. Okay. And that's kind of the dry down. Again, that might smell slightly different on the skin. That's totally different in the dry mm. down. I think it's totally different. So this is very vibrant. It's yeah. very energetic. Very, very fresh for mm. opening. And now it's almost like a smokier leather mm. on the dry mm. down, I would say. It's a smokiness. But, but that's, you quite and like you, that I vibe? More pine. Okay, yeah. I like that. Yeah. You like that? Yeah. Okay, good start. Oh, smell yeah. that. Yeah. Instantly. That smells something like something familiar to me. Okay, wow. Wow good or wow Yeah, wow well, good. Um, it smells very familiar. Almost smells, the first thing that comes into my mind is like <laughs> a one million. Oh, Five, really? Okay. Yeah, from it. Paco Rabanne? Yeah, a okay. Paco Rabanne. Um, very fresh. Yeah. So it's it's familiar? Yeah. I like it. It's really nice. So that's that's it just being sprayed there. Yeah. And again, that's about an hour and a half. Okay. I mm. really see where you're going with this sort of Paco Rabanne. One yeah. million, that sort of... Yeah, um, a Manny maybe. Yeah, okay. I prefer the dry down. It's yeah. a lot more settled. What, but you can still. What is it about this that you either like or don't? I think I, I love the freshness of it. Yeah. I, I, to me, that's like a an, a daytime, mm -hmm. um, post gym. Yeah. Nice clean fragrance. Yeah. I'd say very it's clean. clean isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I like this sort of 
a description of it being every day yeah and it being I that sort so. of clean after the gym yes because to me this this fragrance has that sort of accessibility yeah of it being kind of like something you know smells good yeah but it's not going to be divisive it's no. not going to be too heavy to me this is very much yeah after the gym crisp t-shirt jeans crisp. Mm. yeah very it is crisp, crisp isn't it there's, yeah there's an apple note in this yeah that's yeah. what it is so you've got that that's sort of really nice crunchy mm -hmm. crisp fresh totally different from a yeah I th if i had to choose between a and b it would be a at yeah. the minute yeah okay the great but thing I about like this, this game is that you don't need to say just yet what you, yeah. what you do and don't like okay are you enjoying my game <laughs> <laughs> yes as long as you don't blindfold me. Okay. I, I did consider the blindfold, yeah. then I thought we made the obvious step. I did the see, mark. yeah, blindfold yeah. and some rope. I thought I was going to be tired here. Absolutely. You've got to pay for that type of content. <laughs> okay. There you are, sir. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Very boozy. Boozy. That's the first word that comes into yeah. my mind. Boozy, yeah. Mmm, I like this. Yeah? Yeah. I really like that. Anything else? Like, spicy. Mm. Mm. Boozy is interesting. Spice, tobacco. Right. I'm getting a little bit yeah. of. Yeah. But like wet tobacco. Okay. Not dry. Not I like your, that. Your standard tobacco. So no. That's, that's, again, an hour and a half ago. Very soft and soft. Is it a fragrance you know? It reminds me of tobacco vanille. Okay. But is it tobacco vanille? No, I don't think it is. Okay. Is it tobacco vanille? I'm not telling you. This is not the game. I love that one. You love yeah, that? Yeah, I like that. That's the kind of fragrances that I would be drawn yeah. to as a comfort. Yeah. As a snuggling fragrance with yeah. a, you know, a heavy jumper on and... So this one has rum, so yes. you would bang on it with, with boozy. Yeah. And I, I also think with this fragrance and the notes, it's very true to what they say is in it. Yes. So there's rum, there's tobacco, and there's gingerbread. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So there's a sweetness, because you also mentioned before, you like a sort of gourmand fragrance. Yeah. I think this is gourmand without being sickly, without being overly sweet. It's very I soft. I think there's masculine, sort of masculinity. I think it's got that boozy sort unisex, of Unisex, I would say, definitely They're for all that. unisex, the all yeah. Okay, D. D. Okay. I like this. Mm -hmm. So forget what I said <laughs> 30 seconds ago. I love this. This is like nothing I've smelt before. Mm -hmm. I love this. Yeah. I'm saying that a lot. This one, I think. It's like if you. It's kinda, almost like this. It's, C? it's almost like this, but it's got a little bit of A in. Yeah. None of B. Well, it's got the freshness of B. And it's got. So this has a bourbon note in it. Yes. Bourbon. So it's got the booziness of, of, of C and almost the leatheriness of A, mm. but softer in my opinion. It's warm. Yes, very warm. So that is the dry down there. That's D. Mm. There's also just a hint of a spice. Yeah. You like that? I love that. Yeah, okay. yeah that's beautiful. Mm. It's hard now. I'm glad I've done I it. I would say the... that's my favorite so far. Okay, I'm glad I've done it in this order. Um, wow. Okay. You ready for the final one? Yeah, let's okay. go. E. This is very, very fresh. Very cedar pine or okay. something. I'm getting from that. Resinous anyway. Mm -hmm. so this already. But there's was, amber in that. Amber. So that, that will okay. give you that resonance, resinous. Mm -hmm. Spicy. Mm -hmm. There's pepper in it. Yeah. And there's also ginger. So yeah, I get the ginger now. Mm. The Very, ginger kind of gives you that. Ooh, yeah, that's that, the, that instant. Yeah. yeah, really nice. Not blowing me away. No. Nice. This is a slightly more, I think, slightly more um, like in your face. Yes. Than than E. Yeah. The e D. Sorry, D. Yeah. That's the E dry down. Thank you. Hmm. It's not blowing me away. It's nice. Yeah. 
if I smelt it on someone walking past, I'd think, yeah, it yeah. wouldn't blow me away. It's probably my least favourite out of these. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. I think it'd be my least favourite. E, you are dead. So, <laughs> E is dead. Yeah. Goodbye. You're out. That was Comme de Garçon Rouge. Comme de Garçon have some beautiful fragrances and I think they're lesser known. Yeah. Um, but this is Comme de Garçon Rouge. Okay. I love the bottle. Yeah, yeah very bottle. nice, stylish. The only thing is it doesn't... Stand up. Stand up. Well done, people of marketing. But it does lie down like a pebble. Okay. Exactly what you'd want. Yeah. Okay, so no to E. Goodbye. Goodbye. I think B's probably in fourth place. Okay, B was oh, an absolute classic. Boss. It was Boss Bottled. Wow. This is a limited edition collector's bottle in gold. Okay. Um, this is the Eau de Parfum. Ah, yeah. well, okay, okay. Lovely bottle. It's a lovely bottle, yeah. yeah. Boss bottled is lovely. That's totally different than the yeah. Eau de Toilette. Yeah, it is, isn't totally it? Totally different. Mm -hmm. I think Boss bottled is one of the best sort of mass market sort All of commercial fragrances. Yeah, mm. I love it. I think mm. it's really easy to wear. I think when you said that sort of everyday freshness, yeah. post-gym spritz, yeah. I think it's very true to this. Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. What are you thinking? Um, well, <laughs> this is when it starts to get tricky. Yeah, this is where it gets tricky <laughs> now. This reminds me of like a tobacco weed. There's definitely vanilla in this. Or in the, in which one, sorry? C. C, okay. That reminds me of tobacco vanille. But and I love it. Is it tobacco vanille? I think it's tobacco vanille. You think it's tobacco vanille? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Can I smell again? No. <laughs> you've got one more smell. You've got a phone a friend and you've got the 50 50. Okay, then... I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna go. Oh, C is oh. my least favourite from that. Oh, really? Yeah. The tobacco vanille? Is it tobacco vanille? Because if it is, I'm gonna be heartbroken. It's one of my favourite. And now. Because you're being led by marketing? Do you know what? Yeah, I, 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 yeah, probably. I'm quite upset. I don't for want you. to Do you know what? I'm really upset for you because you said tobacco vanille was your mm. absolute go to. It was. And it's not. Whoa. <laughs> Mind blowing. That's... This is Penhalgans and yeah. it's Roaring Radcliffe. Okay, okay. And I think this is such a fantastic fragrance. Yeah. It's got that booziness. Yeah. It's got the gingerbread. It's lively. It's kind of smoking jacket vibes. That is nice though. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, that is really nice. Yeah. yeah. It was interesting though, as soon as you start to think that it is something, you're kind of yeah. like, should I go there? Should yeah. I do this? Yeah. Yeah. It just lets you see, uh, that's mm. beautiful. I love the bottle as well. It's great. Yeah. Okay, really nice. <laughs> right, right, top two. Good do, you want, can... do you want to have a spritz of, of A on your left wrist and D yeah, on your right? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. What's, this is A. Wrist, so up like this. Thank you. Eyes shut. Close your mouth. Close your mouth. Right. Don't spray, just don't hold, just hold. <laughs> now get your right hand up. Is this being filmed? This is being filmed. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is what happens when you play fragrance games with me. Okay. okay. Hand sign. Okay, so we've got A on your left wrist. Mm. And we've got D on your right wrist. <laughs> Can I have a little? Yeah. That smells really good on you. Doesn't it? Yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't. It, no, it really does. Let's I love one. this as well. However, I'm getting a different note on mm. this now. I'm getting more of like a clean, mm. cleaning note. I recognise this. Do you? Mm. I'm going to go A is my favourite. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, do you want to meet, do you want to yeah. meet your D? You can open. Ah. I don't know it. Okay, so this is a L'Occitane fragrance mm. and they are so great. There's three that's kind of part of this range mm -hmm. and this is the most evening mm -hmm. towards it. I know. Spicy. It smells like Dior home right, okay. to me. Yeah. I'm getting the same Dior vibe mm -hmm. from it. It's beautiful. It smells really good on you. Yeah, that does smell really nice. Great, mm, isn't it? Lovely. Yeah? Lovely. Do you want to meet the one you picked? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's like blind date, but better. It is, yeah. Okay. The one that you've picked is brand new. Okay. It's quite literally just come out. It's limited edition. Okay. So it's really been launched for this festive season. There's a bath and body, there's a lotion, 
it's amazing. And it is <gasps> this one. Wow, okay, Molten Brown. Okay. Molten Brown, Jubilant Pine and Patchouli. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Interesting, isn't it? Very interesting. Yeah. I, th I like that you said there was this sort of ombre leather, this suede yeah. in there. There's also an amber note, there's red berries, there's the patchouli on the mm. base. There's also, I'm pretty sure, a vanilla sweetness. So it, I think it's kind of blending all those sort of things that yeah. you like. Yeah. The thing that I find quite interesting in this one that you picked was this one has got um, the sort of the greenest note compared okay. to the other ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can tell that now it's on skin. I'm good with I think it. that smells great on you. Yeah. And I think, and I'm really pleased that we've done it like this because I yeah. think it's maybe opened you to a brand and to a, a sort of a scent sort of profile that you might have not gone for. Yeah, definitely has. Yeah? Definitely has. I've thoroughly enjoyed that. Well, my festive gift from me to you is this. Thank there you, you so go. much. You're going to enjoy that. We'll see I if will. Natalie enjoys it. If she doesn't, then someone it's else will bad. like it. Yeah. <laughs> and that is yours. Thank you so much. I have one final thing for you. Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes shut. Yeah. Okay. I am gifting this to you because you'd mentioned it on our Zoom call that you wanted to try some. You may now open your eyes. Oh, wow. Perfume de Marley. Yeah, yeah, I've always wanted. I um, got in touch with the team from Parfums de Marley and said that you wanted to try these. And yeah. they said they would love to give you this. Brilliant, thank so you. So that is a little gift from them. Great stuff. Via me. Thank you. You're very welcome. So I'm going to pop that aside for you. And now we're going to move on to I'm going to leave that there. On to the final bit. And we're going to try out in a new bit. Brilliant. Right, Johnny. Final thing in Restyled is style. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Excited about this? I am. Very excited. I have various bits and bobs in here. I see. The key theme of this is I want to give you just a really consistent look. Mm -hmm. I want to get you out of the trackies, mm -hmm. out of the tight tees, yeah, yeah. and I want to just give you something which is refined, yes. is styled, and is working to a colour palette. Mm -hmm. I've not got many hot colours here, yeah. because slight redness, I mean, you're much like me, look better in a cool colour. Yeah. You've got bright blue eyes. Mm -hmm. I think with the sort of salt, salt and pepper colouring of the hair, mm -hmm. I'd like to go down this cooler route. Yeah. So let's just have a quick look. If you stand into the mirror with me here, I'm just going to mm -hmm. do this. See, I think this is too warm against your skin tone. Mm -hmm. I think this sort of burnt orange almost kind of makes you look a little redder. Yeah, I get Whereas, it. Whereas, hold on to her for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's even swap out just for kind of colour picking. Much better. See, I just think that is much better into your colouring. And then hold on to that one too. This mm -hmm. is your next test. Mm -hmm. Try something. The sort of emerald tones. Yeah. So I the like blues that. and the greens, mm -hmm. I think is sort of better for your colouring. Yeah. I think you're much like me in that if you've got blue eyes, let's make them pop. Let's yeah. keep people in and around. And like. also with this sort of the new hair and the beard, I mm -hmm. want everything to frame it. Also, mm -hmm. you are a stacked guy. Mm -hmm. So I think t-shirts look great on you, especially mm -hmm. when you're kind of more into that sort of sports vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But something with a collar mm -hmm. is just going to allow you to kind of open that, mm -hmm. let the body do the talking, but mm -hmm. also be comfortable. Yeah. So, right, I want to... Can I start you on something maybe a little sporty? Let's do it. <laughs> yeah? Yep. Okay. So let's go. How are you with roll necks? Never tried. Okay, you've come so, to the right place. Yeah. Okay, let's start with. Mm -hmm. I want to do a grey on you. Mm -hmm. So, grey roll neck, I'm going to give mm -hmm. you that. With black trousers. Mm -hmm. If you just come in front of the mirror here for me. These are a sort, these are a straight leg, so nothing is going to be super skinny. Mm -hmm. It's nothing really tight. Something that just sits straight down on the leg. Yeah. Cool. And then I actually even think the one right next door to it, I okay. think could be quite nice. Mm -hmm. This sort of varsity blue son, mm -hmm. I think will give you a nice mix. And having it with a roll neck, I think will be a little bit more seasonal. This could kind of get you spring summer. Mm -hmm. Pairing it up with a sort of soft knit yeah. and gray, I think would be really nice. And then I think the boots could be too severe for this, but a shoe. Okay. Yeah, should we give this a go? Let's do it. Little sporty number. Yeah. Okay. You go and get changed. Thank you. Okay. Oh, uh, hello. Hi. Who are you? <laughs> Look at you. I love this. This yeah. is something I would never Come this way, chosen for myself. 
I also feel like, I like this it. sort of varsity jacket is very age appropriate. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. It's not too sports, teenager yeah, but it's sort of still vibe. Casual yeah, it looks vibe. great. Yeah. I like those trousers on you too. I love the trousers. Yeah, they're great. Really nice fit. Really nice. Yep. The shape on you mm. is great too because you're really showing the wide shoulders. It's pulling your waist in. Yeah. Take off the jacket a minute. Let's have a little look. Thank you. Okay. I mean, you look incredible. Yeah, I love it. I've never had a no, roll neck you, before. I mean, you look- And I think it was because I thought I wouldn't suit it or I'd be uncomfortable in it, but it's neither. Your shape yeah, looks I love it. amazing. Because also look how this is sitting in on the waist. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've always found it quite difficult to to find something that fits here yeah. and here, it's either either or. But this is sitting so, really well. It's not too tight. Mm -hmm. You've got all that shape there. Mm. Okay, I really like this. Yeah. But I want to try you something different. Okay. So let's mm. use this as a basis. Mm -hmm. Crew neck rather than a roll neck. Hold on to him. Mm -hmm. And then I want to stick with the lights. Mm -hmm. That long yeah. coat, overcoat, yep. mm -hmm. and boots. Okay. Cool. Go and give it a shot. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like. Yeah? I like. This is a different vibe. Yeah. Very suave. Love the trousers and the and the boots. Yes. Didn't think I would I would I would never go for boots like that. Ever. Yeah. Love them. Love this vibe on you. Yeah. It's good. I'm, How'd I'm you feel? Used to this. How'd yeah, you feel? Really good. Comfortable? I like this. Coat is nice, Coat's isn't it? Coat's nice, a really nice fit. I really like this color palette on you too. I do, yeah. The I navy love it. looks great. Mm -hmm. Good shout on the jumper, well yeah. done. And I really like it with this sort of sandy color. I do, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. I have a different coat. Take that one off a sec mm -hmm. and let's try this. This one is a more oversized. This is a little more tailored. Okay. Let's see just how it feels. What do you think? What do you think? Uh, yeah. I th I think I might have preferred one. the one before, yeah. Mm. I think the one before was slightly more sort of fashion forward, yes. very contemporary. This is a safe bet. Yeah. But I think I like the one before. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This jumper looks great on you. Yeah, it's really nice, really comfy. Again, nice fit up here yeah. and down here. Um, normally I'd wear jumpers like that. Mm -hmm. But maybe rolled up. I mean, you look great. You know that, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> You do, you I, look yeah. really good. Yeah, my confidence is building. As, good. As the day's gone on, 100%, uh, I'm feeling it, yeah. I love these trousers on you. I think a great color yeah. palette. It all really works. Yeah. Should we do a third look? Let's do it. Okay. I want to keep a sort of smarter sort of vibe, kind of Sunday best. Mm -hmm. So, now this one <laughs> could, could be a little too much, but this is a detachable collar. Okay. Okay? Yeah. So we can try it with a the fur, then we can remove it. Great. Okay, hold on to her. Mm -hmm. And then chocolate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There. Mm -hmm. And there you are, sir. Thank you. Third and final, come on in. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Mm. Thoughts? What are your thoughts? This is not about me. I, yeah, I like this but I don't know if I can pull you can, it off. You can pull off whatever you want. But I like, I love the the, the collar. I love the collar. Mm. But I think for wearability, they, I don't know. Let's I'm turn. not sure. Okay, so what do you like about it? I like the shape of the coat. Yeah, coat's great on you. Coat's great, like I, I love the fit. Collar, I don't know, I'm just unsure. Again, because it's something completely foreign. Yeah. To me. I love the colour of, of, of the Roll grey, a little neck. bit of chocolate against you. Yeah. Warmth. Jeans, fine. Yeah. Good yeah, length. I, I like the jeans on you. Yeah, I do. Boots? Yeah, cool. Love it. You look good again. I mean, yeah. you do. Yeah. You look great. Should we have a little... Yeah. Ooh. That, hello. That's much better, yeah. What happened to the pimp that was with me a second ago? <laughs> this is more wearable. Yeah. This is more refined. Yes. I think we that's didn't need to go all that way. But I think, mm -hmm. I just think it's just a better fit. And again, we're still seeing your shape, mm -hmm. but there's not all of this yes. sort of lion's mane, but you yep. have the option of doing that. Yep. We have some decisions to be made. Mm. There are three options. Mm. 
So what I want to do is we're going to get Natalie back. Okay. And this is all about you. Yeah. So I'm not going to decide what you wear. This yeah. is your choice. Yeah. But I might have a little play with like a bit of a fourth option. Yes. Then I'm going to leave it with you. Yeah. And you're going to reveal. Okay. Yeah? Yep. Sounds good. Okay. Yep. What's Johnny going to go for? And what will his partner Natalie think of his new look? Hi. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at that smile. <laughs> oh, that's a genuine smile, isn't it? Oh my God, I'm getting emotional. You look great. Bloody hell. Yeah, I love it. Firstly, Natalie, you've not been forgotten about. <laughs> oh, a little, thank you very much. A little Christmas gift oh, for you. Wow. Man of the moment. Uh -huh. Several, several small <laughs> things for you. Yeah. Your parfums to Marley. Thank you so much for those. I also have the products from Ben. Oh, wow. Yeah. You know what you're doing with those? The I bean balm. So. Yeah. The mousse. Yeah. There's also the texture paste. Yeah. So we need to see this constantly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Every day. And if you don't know, head to manforhimself.com. I've got all the top tips <laughs> on there. All of the Lab Series products. Fantastic. Okay. Thank you so much. Natalie, you cannot use these. These are just for, <laughs> just for him. And then, oh, wow. so that you can get this beard look at home. Yeah. This is a 10 in one. It's okay. Raw on the MGK7. Um, this goes from a 0.5 millimeter, which is kind of what mm -hmm. you'd have in here, mm -hmm. all the way up to a 21 millimeter. So you can use it on beard. Mm -hmm. You can use it on your hair. Don't use it on your hair because this looks great. Use it on your beard. It's also body and there's a sort of oh, nose attachment. Okay. So that is yours. Thank you so You are most welcome. Thank you. Thank you. It's been amazing today, really. Um, thank you to everybody, really. Um, You're very welcome. And to Natalie for giving me the confidence, I guess, to to be able to do it. Um, which is which is massive now. Um, so it's a massive thank you to you. You look great, and I, I feel great. Yeah, honestly, and, I feel great. And you feel good. Yeah, 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 totally. Like what we said at the beginning of today, I think it's it, it's great. You know what I mean? You're doing things now for to feel well mentally as well as looking the part. And everything that we've done today has definitely mm -hmm. enhanced that. Yeah, well, we've done we've done the easy bits now. The the hard part is keeping it going. Keeping it up. Wow, there we have it. Our first ever restyled. Really hope you've enjoyed this one. If you have, then let me know in the comments below. Seriously, what was your favorite look? Did you like the grooming? Did you like the fragrance? Also, if you're still new to this, you're still not press subscribe, then hey, the button is there. So there's more video suggestions down there, more videos up there. Oh, also, everything that I can find, I will link in the description below. But until my next new video, bye-bye.